Hello everybody, in this video we will speak about the usage of patch flower essences in some typical situations. Although we should always prescribe again, again, uh, according to patient's specific problems about uh, individual character of this person and so on, uh, sometimes we do not have enough time or we would like to start somehow even when he do not have enough experience prescribing and this can help us uh, in some situations uh, for example a classical situation as a fear of exam exams uh, the basic remedy here is mimulus for a general um, uh, fear of concrete things and you can add also large uh, when there is a lack of self-confidence and he compares himself with uh, the other people and feels less capable white chestnut for whirling thoughts disagreeable thoughts that he cannot get out of the mind and he cannot sleep because of that uh, rock rose for panic when the fear grows into panic uh, and uh, he loses his, his uh, rational thinking gentian uh, for feeling of discouraged after a failure chestnut but for repeating the same mistake over and over elm for overwhelming feeling of responsibility uh, uh, for example it's used in students that are us usually uh, successful but suddenly they have a blackout and they forget everything and uh, lose and pine for feeling guilty because previ previous failure and worn up uh, when the person is too sensitive to the opinions of the other people so he pays more attention to what the other people think than, than to his work and to his own path and gorse is for utter uh, hopelessness when he has already given up he resigned that he feels that there is no chance to succeed uh, another indication frequently used is indecision um, basic three remedies serato for hesitating between two things and asking the other people for advice uh, um, Sclerantus hesitates between two, two options and quickly changes his decision. Like uh, he's like whether Wayne, he changes the direction very frequently. And uh, what's the difference from Serato? Most easily, how can differentiate these two remedies? He doesn't ask uh, other people for advice. And finally, Wild Oat that uh, is different because he doesn't decide between doesn't decide between two options. He has lost an orientation in his life generally and feels a frustration because something is wrong but he has no idea where to go. They are often talented and they would like to use his life as uh, well as possible but suddenly they do not know where to go. Uh, and we can also add, for example, Mimulus, fear to make a decision, fear of making a mistake. White chestnut, when there, is, there are many thoughts that will in the mind, he cannot stop them. Large, when uh, the indecision is caused by uh, less uh, lack of self-confidence. Centauri uh, is for people who uh, may know what right for them but they do not want to displease the other people um, they have a fear of refusal so they are unable to say no and uh, walnut uh, over adapts to the other people to their expectations and opinions and he may do something uh, other than they really want but they uh, behave according to the uh, expectations and recommendations of the other people and now we go to a uh, more serious situation uh, and they are quite similar in some aspects so uh, we tell the basic remedies and then we can add other remedies to improve this combination for example after a death of a dear person to uh, console to help to overcome this difficult period uh, the best combination is usually honeysuckle for sadness after the loss. These people often return to the past and 
uh, they keep, for example, the room of the deceased in the same condition as it used to be uh, years before and uh, starve Bethlehem for shock. Sometimes it comes suddenly, unexpectedly, and the person is paralyzed. He cannot move, he cannot uh, um, think, uh, and sometimes he uh, behaves as if nothing happened. Uh, and uh, Starve Bethlehem doesn't like to be consoled, so he keeps the emotions inside and these emotions cannot be processed. Uh, when a serious disease is diagnosed, uh, then uh, Mimulus for fear and white chestnut for annoying thoughts, sometimes also, for example, rock rose for panic. And uh, serious disease uh, in a dear person, this previous was in uh, the person himself, and uh, this is the disease of a dear person where the Mimulus is replaced by red chestnut. Well, there is a fear for the other people and when somebody is dying so the combination uh, walnut for change mimulus for fear and rock rose for panic when he is for example suffocating he is panicky that he uh, would die so rock rose can significantly reduce this panic and uh, then you can add further remedies like rock rose for panic for example uh, when uh, the person is panicky because uh, of a diagnosed disease honeysuckle when there is a sadness that it will never be as it used to be for example when a serious diagnosis is uh, found in a dear person and uh, we know that he will never be again as he used to be because this diagnosis is hope hopeless pine for uh, feeling guilty uh, it's my mistake i should have taken him to the doctor sooner for example willow willow is asking why me or why 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 him blaming the others family members doctors fate and white chestnut for disagreeable thoughts that constantly whirl in the in the head like in a circle and of course, in the diagnosis, uh, uh, Star of Bethlehem again may play a role when it is shocking. The diagnosis or serious diagnosis is, is a shock. And then red chestnut for fear for somebody else. Uh, Mimulus for fear generally. Sweet chestnut for extreme pain, extreme suffering, where the world, the whole world, has ruined, has been ruined by bad news. Gentian for being discouraged after a relapse of the disease. Gorse for a hopelessness when he doesn't believe that it can be better or uh, he uh, uh, sees no hope in his life. And walnut for a faster adaptation to a new situation, for example, after some uh, operation like amputation and uh, for a stay in the hospital. Many people are distressed by the fact that they have to go to the hospital and olive for total exhaustion. And for change, another indication, uh, the basic remedy is walnut for a better adaptation and faster adaptation. And you can also add, for example, Mimulus for fear of new things, uh, to be able to deal with new challenges or meet new people. Large for self-confidence, for lack of self-confidence. White chestnut for disagreeable thoughts that constantly were in the mind. And honeysuckle for feeling homesick or after a change that uh, there was something that uh, will never come again. And uh, for repeating the same mistake, it may be, for example, that we get into the same communication problem, into the same conflict, uh, and we don't know why, but we end in the same situation. Uh, and uh, the basic remedy is chestnut butt, and we should take it for a long time, a few months, and we can also add any other remedy that can help us to uh, uh, change this situation.
to learn from this situation. And uh, for missing orientation in life, some people go into a situation where, when they, they do not know where to go. They feel that they are dissatisfied with their present life, but they do not know in to which direction to go. And the basic combination is wild oat for the lack of orientation and walnut that helps to uh, break old patterns, like start something completely new, uh, uh, do something that the other people would uh, tell that it's something crazy, something strange, unsuitable and so on, just uh, uh, to isolate the person, the patient from the influence of the other people, to let him to uh, decide independently what they in the life wish. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And in the next video, you will be able to verify your knowledge of batch flow essences in a case test.